Hi guys, this is Andrew and welcome to the next video on AF Swift Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to make simple drawings using core data context. I've created a simple UIKit application. So first we need to create an, another file called uh, Canvas View and also a model uh, where we'll be storing our lines. First, let's create a model. It's going to be a line. And we should import UIK. And we set a structure line. And we'll be storing our points. All kinds of CG points. And also store color. Which is UI color. And also we just do our stock group. And it's All right. Now let's create our canvas view. that inherits from UI view because that's where we'll be getting drawing functionality and our uh, reading our touches so we need a private property where we'll be storing our lines so it's going to be private var lines So now we need our drawing functionality and uh, reading our touches on a screen. So let's start from drawing. We need to override a function draw rect. And here we need to get our current context. And it could fail, so we need to wrap it inside of a guard statement. And how I'll be drawing. We'll be looping through our lines and assigning it stroke color, stroke width, and adding that to our context. Core Graphics is a low-level framework, that's why it doesn't recognize UI color, so that's why we're making stroke color dot CG color. And also we could select how our line should be ended. It should be squared or rounded. I'll select round. So now we assigned our line color, stroke width and the cap. Now we need to loop through all the points of our line and add it to a context. And here we check in our index. If it's zero, it means it's the beginning of the line. So we just move into that point. Otherwise, we need to draw the line. So we add a line to the point. And after all it's done, we need to call context stroke path to create a, and draw a path inside of the context. Alright, so that's it with drawing functionality, but now we need to read our touches and create lines as we touch the screen. In order to do that, we need to add two more functions. It's touches began and touches moved. Let's start from touches began. So again, we are starting from verifying our point. So we need to guard. Here we add in our new line to our lines array 
and in order to force redrawing the canvas we need to call set needs display and this for touch has begun now in order to draw the line from one point to another we need to call touches moved function So in order to get our last line, we will just pop it from the array using pop last function. And again, to redraw the canvas, we need to call set needs display. So that's it with canvas. So now let's add our canvas to a storyboard and test it. And now we are stepping on UI view, go to inspector and inside of the class we assign it canvas view. So here is our IB outlet for canvas view. Now we can connect it in interface builder like this. And now let's try running our code and check if we can draw. Okay, so here is our simulator and as we touch on the screen, we are drawing a line in a context. So that's it with a simple example of drawing using core graphics context. If you find this video interesting, give it a like, consider subscribing to this channel. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.